Hello, darlings. Today is going to be doing a visual for rolling for stats in 5e. Sometimes people might see all the numbers and get a little bit confused, but that's quite all right. That's why we're going to be doing a little visual. Now, if you open up a browser and just type in dice roll, it, most of the time it should bring up different dice rolls. So if you don't have any physical die, we will be using the D6 on the dice roll. So usually D6s are the ones that are very... Like, tube. I don't know why that came squiggly, but you know. Good enough. <laughs> Alright. So we're not going to worry about the sticks. Little. We're not going to worry about that right yet. Right now we're just going to worry about the numbers. The formula for it is doing 4d6s. And we're doing that six times. So first we're going to just get all the dice rolls out of the way. And we're going to break up each 4d6 on a line. To make it a little bit easier. So I'm using the dice roller thing. I do have die myself. But I'd rather not make this whole thing quake. With the sound of the die banging against my desk. I don't have a um, tray right now. <laughs> and my die are kind of heavy. I do have some fancy metal ones. <laughs> Alright. Oh, lovely. First one is one. One. Two. Four. Alright, now we're going on to the next line. Four. Four. <laughs> and four again. Okay. Nice. I'm seeing a theme right now. Three. Lovely, lovely. Two. My handwriting right now is awful. I have not slept, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, there's a five. And two, three. That's four lines, so we want two more lines. Three. Now mind you, right now is literally just getting all of the numbers out of the way and then we'll do the whole formatting and explanation of math. This will honestly probably be your favorite part to just roll the dice. Not to mention, there's different ways of going at this. There's standard arrays and everything like that. Most of the time, people like to roll their stats. It's a bit more fun. And this is only hypothetical. Depending on your DM, they may let you re-roll ones. Because in some cases, ones are a bit cruel. Or if your stat is really low, say I rolled three ones up here or all four ones. Or if someone in my party did, I would be like, okay, well, I just re-roll that whole stat. <laughs> all right, so we have those out of the way, so I'm going to just put my phone away. Now we're going to do it by top to low. 
factor of 4, 2, 1, 1. These are all just 4s. 3, 2, 1, 1. 5, 3, 3. So, 5, 3, 2, 1. Six, five, four, one. So here's the fun thing. Since we do it from high to low, we're going to take the first three, the highest three, and we're keeping those. So you can just go ahead and... Oop, that's too big. We will just erase this last line. And these are what we're adding up. So 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 12. 6. Eleven. Fifteen. Or am I... Am I silly? No, that you? Yes, 15. <laughs> All right. So now these are our stats we have right now. Realistically, modifiers and everything wise, when it comes to the highs and lows, it may give you like negatives and this and that. We won't worry about that for this moment. This is just doing the math of getting your stats to put there now for the six stats we have we have strength wisdom dex intelligence or intellect whichever you want to say constitution and charisma so this next part really depends on your DM, or if you're the DM, how you would like your NPCs or your players to be. Sometimes they will say how you rolled it this way in order is how it's going to be. Sometimes they let you fully put them where you want. And sometimes there's a switch to only. So say I wanted the 12 to be my strength instead and I switch those two. It really depends. So that's something either you as the DM can decide or someone else. Because realistically there's no formal rules, everything is just a guide. And if you're very picky about it, well that's just no fun. So now it really depends how you want to play your character. Well, in my opinion as a DM, how I do this, I tend to play it around a little bit. Sometimes maybe I want to be someone that min-maxes, which isn't a bad thing. Sometimes in cases like Curse of Strahd or other expansions and different oddities, you may want good stats. It may save you, especially if you want something that complements whatever class you're going for. For example, if you're a librarian, you probably wouldn't keep the 7 there. If anything, I would put the uh, 15 there instead. Things like that. But, in other cases, if you want story flavor, you can... Oh, my character's really weak, so having a 7 there makes sense for strength. Or, oh, my character's very slow, I'm just going to give him small decks. Or perhaps there is different reasons why you would want to put your stats where. For me, it's completely up to you. That's pretty much it. Because wherever you want to put these, if this was just plainly how it is for there, you would put that there. However, depending on your character, depending on your story, 
or perhaps uh, you have no choice for that. Depends where those go. Because realistically, it's not just this, like if you're doing a strength check, a wisdom check or anything, say you're doing actual skill checks like um, perception, persuasion, etc. Then you may be like, oh, story-wise, my character should have very good persuasion. Or story-wise, my character is very dexterous. Depends. <laughs> Or if you think your character has very good animal handling and has like a specialty in it. The little specialties give a little bit bonus on top of that. But that's a whole different thing. That would be going over the whole 5e page work. So I'm not going to overwhelm you for this little video. But that is a very brief explanation. Your formula for rolling sets. Again, I would use a bigger marker four d6 die and we do this six times you remove the smallest remove lowest and that's pretty much it i hope a little visual helps have a good one.